What is it about ideas? They certainly seem to have a life of their own. Some arrive out of necessity to fill some absence. Others float in like mist, with the vagary of wounds. The daybed needs a little table at this height. Good chance to use up some offcuts. There's no plan for this table. The only constraint is height. It's pretty much determined by the bits and pieces available. There's never much of a method. I, I call it making it up as you go. That's better. Life is good. Thanks, Justine. The notion of an archer on top of this pile of rocks it was an idea that collided with me many years ago. And here it is being realised with all the imperfections that accompany my ineptitude. But it's fun. Of course, the huntress in the iconography of forest enchantment is hardly new. A powerful female in nature who shouldn't be messed with has always been attractive to me. It's only in hindsight that this wild hops can be seen as such an invasive opportunist following bushfire. It's so thick and so high that it's, it's too late to try and burn it. So it looks like I'm going to have to make something with fingers, like a rake. Something that will go onto the bucket of the Kubota. Something that will grab hold of this wild hops and pull it out. Well, that first effort was a failure. But after putting a bit of an edge on them, it now seems to work a treat. Weeding was part of that complex idea of looking after the place. But it's beyond my capacity and my lifespan. Perhaps it's some kind of male vanity and I shouldn't be messing with it at all. Ideas, notions, whims, they occupy our thoughts and fill up our days.